What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back, and as you can tell from the video, um, this is going to be a little bit shorter of an episode. I'll talk about that in just a second. Um, as you can see, we already have 17 kills. I started recording, and it like wasn't picking up my mic or face cam. I looked over, and like all of it was just not being recorded. It was really weird, but I caught it early enough. We only missed a couple of kills from me, so no harm, no foul. But, like I said, this video is a little bit shorter. It was either you guys got a kind of short video or no video at all. And I would assume you guys would prefer a video. So, we're just going to have a little bit shorter of a video. I have something I got to take care of today. And so, unfortunately, I can't record as long as I would like to. But my goal is always to get, you know, two episodes. Oh, crap. It's not the button I wanted. Not the, not the... What the heck? There we go. I don't know what the heck happened there. But yeah, that's always the goal. And so I kinda, I, I'm trying to honor it the best I can. I always... There's probably going to be always one day a week where I only get one video up, but trying to honor it to the best of my ability so you guys can come to expect certain uploads certain days look at how much cleaner the farm looks now that the altar imps are gone but there's something suspicious about the tower up there why didn't that other quest pop up okay unknown enemy you see that tower up there i sent some dark energy up there while you were fighting those weak imps Someone or something is up there. I can still feel it now. I mu it must have caught the imp's attention, too. Forget these imps and let's go. I have to see what's making this dark energy. He he he. Alright. Actually, what am I doing? I want a Nimbus. I want a Nimbus stride. I don't get to Nimbus stride on this character enough. I'm just going to kill a little bit along the way. Get a little bit of experience I feel so under leveled on this this is the lowest leveled character now of all of my accounts or all of my characters we'll, we'll take a look real quick here hopefully nothing hits me from behind uh, there's I, I see you little guy okay so you can see now it is the lowest character on the account. Everything else is, all the other ones are even at 30 and this one's just, you know, steady chilling back at level 19 because I'm just doing everything on it. So it makes it go a little bit slower. Spin to win. Ooh, we got a black stone weapon. I can't tell if they like up the drop rates on those for console or what they did. Oh my gosh, this thing has a jump slam. I can't hit anything with it, but you know, it's qual that that's something different. All right, so here we go. You find a large tower looming over you. You should be able to make your way to the top by climbing the walls. Wizard's altar. I'm sure whatever we seek is up there. Has to be, and who knows? Maybe there'll be a treasure chest or two. He he he. Doesn't matter what's waiting for us up there. It'll be ours either way. Now hurry and get climbing. Um, I'm not sure if they upped the drop rate of the weapon and armor stones, but it feels like they did. I've been getting a ton more, like, like not just a little bit more. Like, I'm talking like I'm getting a lot more. Like, I feel like I'm getting like two or three times as many as I used to. Maybe I'm just d dreaming, but that's what it feels like. Might as well grab that free experience. We're about to be level 20. The big checkpoints are the, the fives. Oh my gosh, don't jump off the edge. Is like 25, 35, 45, and 55 because those are the rewards for this event. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. We got about a month until these until this ends. We just got to get to 55 on all the characters. Oh my gosh, I missed the jump. Where am I? Where did, where on earth did I go? Where? Okay. I guess we'll go this way now. Oh my gosh, dude. 
platforming in this game is something. Is It's something. That's all I gotta say about it. It's something. Look closely at the dragon statue. Something is engraved upon it. It is foolish to summon the gods. The energy by the, of the gods cannot be controlled by mere mortals. So we write, on this holy altar, never forget the lessons learned from the, sp the mistakes of the past. Wizard's altar. We get our little cutscene here. Uh, sure. I don't remember that. I don't remember that cutscene like at all. Okay, so no treasure chest, but this energy ain't half bad. Power tastes so, so sweet. But look at me like, but, oh, don't look at me like that. Am I the one huffing and puffing from a little climb? And besides, my power is your power, so you're welcome. But why would this bring the altar imps here? Something feels off. Ooh, it's dastard beg time. Ah ha ha, I found him, the fool that tried to take over this tower. Did that dimwit actually think he was worthy? He's so obsessed that, or he's so obsessed he doesn't even realize the consequences of his actions. Look, he was branded as a traitor by his own people. Anyway, he's trying to hide in the darkness like Red Nose did, but that won't work on me. Let's teach him a lesson about power. All right, so we need to go this way. Oh, hold on, hold on. Take the what? Oh no, no! I wanted to, I wanted to Nimbus stride off. Oh, you know what? You know what? We're going back up there because I want a Nimbus. Really, really, game? Now you want? No, really? Stop it! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! That got me a level twenty. Take that. All right, we're going back up there because I want to do it for fun. And isn't that why we all play? No, don't Nimbus stride me off the freaking ledge. I just can't hold A. I can't hold LT and hit A. Oh my gosh, this game is going to. This part of this parkour part in this game just is enough. Okay, so back up. There we go. That's what I wanted. That was worth it. I enjoyed that. Hello, everybody. I'll take a free little bit of experience here, and I'll be on my way. Actually, hold on. Do this. And we can Nimbus stride off of this. I mean, I have way too much fun just Nimbus striding, like... I should not have as much fun just straight Nimbus striding that I do. Be free, piggies, be free. Oh, we can Nimbus stride again. I literally love this character for a move that doesn't even do damage. Okay, let's kill. Uh. You guys actually gonna. Okay, they don't actually come. Okay, did we get any better items before I do this? We have my plus 15 thing down here, but I don't want to... I'm not doing that yet. Um, I think we're good. All right. All right, let's dance, dastard beg. You've got to spin the win attack. I've got to spin the win attack. 
It's fair. Cool. I went right through that attack. Stop it. Stop it with that attack. That attack is some mega cheese. Get back here. <laughs> oh my gosh. That attack, that does so much damage. What it's hold on I, I want to try to remember I need to get used is it is it yeah it's RTRB I need to be ready to use that because like right now I can't um, I can't I can use it as my over but I don't think that's always gonna be the case I don't think hitting over is gonna always be the case for this but I didn't want to tell you and scare you before, but he was a lot stronger than you think. You've grown quite strong. All thanks to me, right? <laughs> uh, per the permanent token. Right. We've got what we came here for. Now, let's head back to that scary lynch woman. She obviously lost something valuable when her barn burned down. Maybe she'll be more willing to cooperate if we find it for her. And I think I know where that little sparkling item might be. Oh, there was a blackstone gift. Hold on. Open it back up. Blackstone gift. Close it. Reopen it. Come on. There we go. Complete that. Use that. Okay. Put it over. Okay. I guess I can Nimbus Stride to start this off. We just want to run back. There we go. Uh, can I click it again? There we go. All right, it's auto-pathing now. We shouldn't be... Yeah, we're not too far away. In the next episode, I think I will have your guys' feedback on what you guys want me to do with the Korea Crescent Pendulum. I think I think in the next episode. It might be two episodes. I'm not quite sure. I it, No, it'll be the next episode. It'll be the next episode. I'll know. At least I'll have some idea. I don't know if I'll fully know. But I'm hoping someone will comment and let me know before I actually record the next uh, Luna Freya video. If I, I might take a break and not record Luna Freya tomorrow. I do have this video, obviously, that's going up the day after that. And so I am good. I'm good on Luna Freya videos. I might try to record some other stuff to have that all set to go. But so I so I can get an opinion on whether or not I should use the plus fifteen or if I should just sell it or hold on to it or whatever I should do with it. I don't know what I should do with it, but I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. If you guys think I should play it, you know, as if I don't have all that money in the bank, or if I should play it like I do have all that money in the bank. Alright, we got Zara Lynch's wedding ring. Might as well kill those guys. Alright, I'm happy that actually jumped over. Actually worked out fine. Look at this. There there was three of three lawns here. Three lawns. Oh Marana. My promise to Marana. Thank you, adventurer. If it wasn't for you, I might have lost my mind. I know you're here for my debt to the League of Merchants, but I honestly don't do not possess enough money to pay it back. I gathered everything I could while you were away. If you could see if they will let me have another week. Oi, you there, what are you eating? Did you even do any work for us today? Ah, all right, so we need to go back to good old Bobby Lauren. Yeah. All right, auto run back. But, yeah, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with this. I mean, worst comes to worst, I can just sell it. It's It's got plenty of value. Um, have no problem with that. But if, if you guys are cool with the transferring of gear, I probably would transfer my sorceress gear over here. Um, I'd probably just move my sorceress around to points, and I'd probably buy, I'd buy a better crown noble sword, or just a better noble sword, um, crow noble sword, not crown noble sword, crow, I'd buy a b better noble sword as well, um, this thing actually has a value, it's one million dollars, we do have a little bit of money, and we'll be able to sell these, so that's 3,000 times 57, so what is that, is that 150 grand? I think that's 150 grand. Then we also have this other stuff to sell. But back to Bobby Lauren. 
And we'll be wrapping this episode up pretty soon. Once again, I apologize for having to cut this episode a little bit shorter than normal. Oh dear, did that really happen at Lynch Farm? Now I can't really pressure her to pay off the rest of her debt. I mean, I didn't expect Zara Lynch to pay off all of it anyway, if only someone like you came along earlier. The situation has worsened for the League of Merchants since Jordine Dukas ascended to the Regency. I don't know what he's up to, but he's saving up funds. Do you have any idea how ruthless his methods are? He's forcing the League of Merchants to buy bonds and suffer from debt due to high interest, or up against the wall, and it appears that the Republic has allowed the Incarosha family, the nobles of Calfion, to have the Jean Merchant Guild establish a trading branch in Heidel. It was an unfair trade at best. The debt continues to grow and is making me more ashamed to see my cousin. The money from Zara barely covers the outstanding interest. I can't bring myself to see Isabel in Karosha, the branch manager. I get nervous just hearing your voice. Please, can you deliver this to her for me? How are you this big of a coward? Bobby Lauren is an incompetent fool. He is making excuses for his own mistakes. Shouldn't we listen to both sides of the argument before we jump to conclusions? Yes, I am referring to the Jean Merchant Guild or whatever from Calfion. You weren't planning on forming conclusions from just hearing one side of the story, were you? Hee hee hee. Silence, we're done here. Aren't you tired of listening to their complaints all the time? When did merchants ever care about anything other than profit? Hee hee hee. Considering all that's been done, wouldn't it be more interesting to just pay a visit to the Grand Chamberlain? He's the one with the power, after all. People like you have bigger and better things to do. So, we did this one on the witch, and you guys saw we've done everything on the witch, so you guys have seen the full quest line there. I didn't record everything on the sorceress, so we're going to be doing each of their reasons, because it's a little bit of a crossroads. You, you, your decision does matter here. So, now we need to speak to Isabel in Karosha. So we're going to do that, and then we'll call it an episode here in a moment. Do you have something to say? If you intend on making excuses for Bobby Lauren, I'm not interested. I'm a little bit busy now. If you have something to say, come find me later. So now we have to go get her jewelry. Hee hee hee, the arrogance of that woman is unbelievable. You haven't gone shy because of this, have you? Or do you just have a soft spot when it comes to gorgeous women? Anyways, you're going to need to find a way to talk to her. Come to think of it, I heard she commissioned a gemstone polishing job in Heidel. Let's go there and tell them that you're there to pick up the item on request from Isabel. Hee hee hee. If you do this and hand this item over to Isabel, she'll be interested in talking with you. He he he. How do I know? Hmm. Because I know everything. He he he. He he he. Alright, so let's go get her let's go get a ring and then Oops, not the soldier. Dora Fanti. What? You're here to pick up the gemstones for someone else? Hmm, I'm sorry, but that sounds a bit suspicious. I hope you understand why I'm being so careful. There are plenty of thieves who'd happily steal from me by claiming to collect items on behalf of others. The item of concern also happens to be extremely valuable. Orders for polished gemstones are on principle supposed to be kept a secret. I guess if you can tell me who the original commissioner of the work is, you'll be able to prove that you are, in fact, representing the per that person. Who commissioned these polished gemstones? Isabel in Tarosha. Right on the spot. Please forgive my suspicion. You can never be too careful when the item is of high quality. Rich people in high places are different, all right. I don't understand how they can trust others to collect such an item on their behalf without coming themselves. If if I left a note on the receipt, please deliver or I left a note on the receipt. Please deliver it with care. I guess our business here is done. I don't believe I've ever seen you before. Is this your first time in Heidel? If you ever find an interest in gemstones or crystals, come visit me again. Crystal extraction, just do that. And that uh, that's gonna be pretty much it for this episode. Um, in the next one, we'll give um, we'll give uh, Isabel in Carrosha the uh, her gemstones. But that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.